Hey everyone, this is Disc Junkie, and today I'm back with a new DVD room update. Um, I did some rearranging in here. Um, basically, you know, just moved a lot of stuff around. Um, just pretty random, been going through my key cases uh, down at the bottom row. Uh, so, you know, rearranging them alphabetically and stuff like that. And, um,. Then essentially I put in I put in some new shelves actually. This right here. Uh this used to be like I didn't have this before, so I just put in this and then sort of I did the same thing for all the shelves, so I get you know the same height for uh that entire row, uh as well as the same row over here. I'm actually you can see that I got one there, uh, but I'm actually missing one small shelf. And so essentially then I also had to do a bit of rearranging, so um, here's a bit of Blair Witch and uh, some other box sets that sort of felt like they sort of were in the same theme and did some some coffin box sets. The office space, Big Lebowski shelves, uh, which I've had before, but I've sort of, you know, put things, moved things around a bit. A lot of the stuff where I sort of rearranged them, um, the thing about this particular shelf is that it's there's it's slightly has a little bit more space uh if you look at the height because this is a shelf where I can actually can actually keep big uh, hard boxes like this one um because they are essentially uh quite a lot you know they're they're much higher than your than your normal keep case or steel book so you know I can't keep them in the in the regular shelf height, which I have pretty much, you know, used for keep cases, steel books, and then I sort of have, you know, have one row which is essentially just a little, little bit higher. So that's sort of the basic idea of that. And also due to this, I I tend to to sort of, uh, you know, I don't arrange everything alphabetically. I rather go like and sort of arrange stuff by style a lot of the times. For instance, like over here, I've now uh, put in uh, some sets that are, you know, basically just plastic cases that come very much in like plastic slip cases or plastic boxes, like Iron Man, got Brazil, and and some Japanese Ultimate Editions with the uh, plastic sleeves. Um, I got some jewel cases here. I don't have a lot of them, but I got a couple. And then this has become, we got keep cases down there, but then I've essentially rearranged it, so now I got my steel books here, in this little shelf. Uh, and then when we get up here, I've sort of jammed all my sort of odd looking tins. And uh, that's, you know, a bunch of different tins. Got these typical easy DVD tins. Uh, but, you know, then there's also like, uh, yeah like tints that don't don't really look like other tints essentially so that's that's sort of what that shelf's about i've been planning on doing a, a usual suspect shelf uh, because i really like that movie and I actually have have uh, you know got the korean tin edition which is like i mean it's about as close to a to an urban legend as you as you come in terms of uh, dvd editions Never seen any other pictures of this, uh, apart from the ones, you know, of this particular copy. Um, and then we got the R1 with the slipcase and the UK digipack. So I'm also planning to get some old VHS boxes for that movie, which I've sort of been hunting down. I've also I've moved some heads around, so I've got the uh, got the Plant of the Apes head over here. And uh, I've moved the saw tin. This is a cool box, but it's just, I don't like it in terms of, you know, trying to find a good place for it. Because it tends to, you know, it's hard to display. Because you gotta get, you gotta have one of those little display stands. And then it doesn't really, it sort of tilts, so it's not at the right, it doesn't match any angle of any other box. So it just looks, looks a little bit out of place, no matter where you put it. I mean it's round also, so that that also adds to the to the thing standing out a lot. Um, let's see what else? Well, yeah, uh, 
if you if you check the bottom shelves you can notice that I've actually cleaned things up quite a lot. It used to be you know a lot of stuff that wasn't essentially DVDs down here. But now I actually got my uh, sort of TV series down here. Um, and you know essentially TV series and sort of these TV series boxes like Seinfeld and all that have been stuff that I haven't really been I haven't been wanting to show them off you know because they have been sort of you know they haven't been the most glorious box sets and then as you can see we got another shelf here which is uh, sort of stacked up my old Nintendo games the NES entertainment system so we got the old NES here and uh, a bunch of NES games oh yeah and this is really cool something I I found now when I was going through my shelves this is like I don't know how rare how rare these are these days uh, but this is an old rental box set uh, it's actually a Swedish release rental box set uh, from back in the day when you could like rent NES games uh, in like you know in your lo local stores so this is one for the books really crazy crazy box I essentially kept this I got it with when I, I bought my uh, copy of Metroid second hand and I um, it's a little bit broken so you know the game doesn't s stay the way it's supposed to be I think you, you're supposed to have like an extra piece here or there or something but I sort of keep it to you know keep some Nintendo NES manuals in there and stuff but yeah, really cool. I actually, I wish this. I wish it was in better shape because it's quite, quite worn and uh, you know, sort of damaged. But still, kind of a cool collector's item, maybe. I don't know. I would, I would actually love to get more of these. I don't know how hard it is to find these really big rental boxes, but you know, if there was like, if you could could buy them, find some cheap rental boxes, you know, that would be cool because they are, you know. It, it's cool to have a big box like that. Okay, I'm sorry, this is very hard to put back with one hand. Ah. So, uh, there you go. I'm guessing that's pretty much it. And, um, yeah, not really sure what else I've been planning in here. I want to get a, want to get like a comfy chair or stuff, because now I just got that folded folding chair. But yeah, um, more stuff to happen eventually and I'll be back with another update soon so yeah see you around